All right, so I got this request recently on building a breakout strategy, and that's exactly what we're gonna do in today's video using Stratagen. So what is a breakout? Breakout strategy, you're usually buying higher highs and you're shorting lower lows. You're looking to get into that trend as early as possible. It doesn't always feel super early, but uh, you know if you test it right and build a good trading system, then overall it should play in your favor. All right, so we are gonna do, uh, we're gonna use Stratagen to do this. We'll do the long side first, and we're gonna start with S&P 500. We'll do S&P 500 futures. So for the symbol here, I've selected ES 1440, so that's 1440 minute bars, AKA very similar to daily bars. There is a debate on whether to use daily bars or 1440 minute bars. I think I'm gonna make a video on this separately because there is minute differences. But recently, I've just been using 1440 minute bars just because I've never done it before or I don't have many strategies on 14, 40 minute, and it could add some diversification for me. All right, so if we're building a long strategy, we wanna be, if we're doing a breakout strategy, we wanna be buying those higher highs. We wanna be, you know, when that, that new high for that instrument happens, that's when we want to be entering. So I'm gonna scroll down and find the signals where it says close greater than. So all these here have close greater than. So let's do that. I'm gonna select all the close greater uh, than signals and select entry, and that will select them all as entry. So we could do them on uh, exit as well. So if we wanna exit by an indicator, we can do that. Uh, personally, I wanna switch it up. I've been doing a lot of indicator exit strategies recently. So I think I'm gonna go back to the simple profit target stop loss. Uh, so let's try uh, minimum. So we can, we can try a range of profit targets and stop losses. I will start minimum 2%, max 4%, increment by one. So that two, semicolon four, semicolon one. So min, max, step. Stop loss, I'll make it a little bit smaller. I'll do one to three. So one, it'll try 1%, 2%, 3% stop loss, and then 2%, 3%, 4% profit target. Now it's, this, this is the percentage of the instrument price. So if, if I enter at ES and it's at 6,000, and if I have four, if I have a four uh, percent profit target, then once that six thousand is incremented by four percent, it's going to exit. So it's not based on your account size. Uh, we need to have our slippage at 0.01 percent commissions, one dollar per side. Uh, oh, my return to drawdown goal needs to be at two. Exit on session close is not going to be checked. This is not a day trading strategy, although we could make it one. Okay, so we'll try that. Starting cash, hundred thousand. Okay, 50% out of sample, start date 2020, end date September 1st, 2024. I like to save the last nine months outside StratGen. That's one of my metrics to see if it's a good strategy, if it's made money in the last nine months. So I do not include that in the initial test. Now there's a debate on you know how much data should you go back to. Uh, obviously I could go back to 2007, which is when most electronic trading started or we have data for. Uh, so. There's, you know, the plus side is you get more data points. Uh, the downside is that, you know, what happened back then, the farther you go back, those patterns, you know, show up less and less. So you could say that, oh, more recent data is more relevant and more powerful. It's, it's a he said, he said, she said type of thing. Uh, recently, I've been using more recent data, but I do recommend at use, you know, at least using three to four years so you get multi, multiple market regimes. All right, so... We're gonna hit run. It's gonna start simulating back test with those profit targets. I'll speed up the video. I'll just cut to when it's done because it's gonna take uh, a couple minutes. So we have 612 iterations. I like to keep this number low, uh, ideally below a thousand, uh, or else I feel like I'm kind of overfitting a little bit too much. So always below a thousand iterations is my goal, and I will I will speed this up. All right, so our results finished and I we have our in sample, out of sample and combined tabs. So in the combined tab, this combines the in and out of sample back test together. We see we get a lot of profitable strategies and a lot of strategies with a uh, high return to drawdown, which is the net profit divided by the max drawdown. 
However, there is a feature in StratGen where it will highlight the return of drawdown as gold, like a gold color, meaning that the in and out of sample are greater than your return of drawdown goal. So I've set my goal to two, which means that I want the in sample and out of sample to be above two, and none of them met that. So even though the top one here, which had a 3.93 return to drawdown, it probably did well. It looks like it did really well in, I don't know. I think it did really well in probably the out of sample, but not so much the in sample. The in sample did pretty well too. Just did not close long period of time with no trades. So we didn't find any strategies that, you know, I'm looking for that gold return or drawdown because I want a smooth equity curve uh, where the in and out of sample is greater than two. So I'm gonna have to run another simulation here for the long side. Uh, so I'm gonna close those results. So close greater than, didn't really pan out on what I wanted. Another way to build a breakout is we could use the high. So now I'll go high greater than, select all those signals. All right, so we got our results with the high signal breakout. And it looks like we found three that would pass my metrics. This one at 4.1 return to drawdown, 3.67 and 2.97. So let's give this a name. Let's call this ES1440 uh, L1. And I'll click Ninja Trader code that will generate the code for me. But I'll also put a C sharp file on my desktop. So we go to my desktop. There's the C sharp file already, perfect. So we got our long side. One more check too is I want to see that if I go to the out of sample, I want to check a Monte Carlo analysis on our out of sample, which was here. Is that right? It's 3% uh, profit target, 2% stop loss. Okay, so if I do a Monte Carlo, the median return of drawdown is 1.94. I like to see that above two. Uh, so this is a thousand different backtest simulations. So it's one simulation it passed. I mean, I ran it four times, it passed once. So it's very, very close. Uh, I would just be cautious about this strategy, maybe run it in sim longer. Usually I run it in sim for about a quarter uh, it needs to make money in that quarter before going live. All right, I, I'd say it's fast, it's close enough. Okay, so that's our long side. Now we're gonna do our short side. So I'm gonna flip the side signal bet from long to short, clear the signals, and then I'm gonna select the close less than. So just hold shift, left click, do that. I also want to match up our profit targets too, if we can. So this one had a 3% profit target, 2% stop loss. So it's three, semicolon three to kind of lock it there. And let me just double check, it was 2%, right? Yep. So I locked it at 3% profit target, 2% stop loss. And now let's find some short signals. All right, so I tried a lot of short signals and was able to only find one that was profitable with our 3% profit target, 2% uh, stop loss. And the signal was actually only shorting in September. So basically every day in September, it's gonna be shorting if it's not in a position. Uh, we had a 4.69 return to drawdown and it's made 15 trades over the last uh, essentially last five years. So it's not trading very often. I mean, you don't always want strategies that trade too much. And especially if you're running a, a 14 to 40 minute strategy, AKA daily strategy, it's not gonna be trading every day. So let's give that a name. We're gonna call that, uh, what is it? ES1440 S1. We'll generate the Ninja Trader code for that. And I wanna check the out of sample of Monte Carlo as well. So this was ID 352. Uh, let's see where it is, Monte Carlo. Yeah, it looks pretty good. Okay. 
So now we have our long and short signals. I'm gonna copy and paste them into NinjaTrader. So documents, NinjaTrader 8, bin, custom, strategies. Paste them in there. And then if I go into my NinjaScript editor, which is over here. Should already be compiling them. Strategies, what am I looking here? Strategies, go to E, we are L1, S1, perfect. Okay, I want to copy the short signals into the long signals. So I copied them into ES1440 L1. So now that houses both the long and short signals. And now I can back test it in NinjaTrader and start running this strategy in a sim account, demo account, or live account. ES1440 L1. Make sure the instrument is ES. The bar size is 1440. 2000 to, I ended it September last year, 2024. Uh, okay. And then we're actually gonna go into the trades and make sure that they're breakout trades. The short trades, I mean, shorting in September is, not necessarily a breakout strategy. I mean, from my recollection, I know September's are not really great for, for stock indices. Um, so the problem with the short side is that, you know, the long side found that 3% profit target, 2% stop loss worked the best, but that doesn't always work for the short side. As we know, at least with stock indices, you know, the short side tends to be faster and quicker or more dramatic, whereas the long side is more of a stair step in motion. So the long side is definitely breakout. I mean, if we look at some of these trades, look at this trade here, uh, buying what feels like the the high of the day, the high of the week, month, um, and that would be in a, in a trade up until then, and even here kind of buying that. So definitely a breakout on the long side, but if we go on the short side, so obviously it's only shorting in September. So we get along here, September hits, it goes short. A long signal actually closes that short for a small gain. Uh, but then basically every September, the short side is gonna keep overpowering. So that short side will close that long signal for a loss, hit profit target, re-entered short, hit profit target. So that was definitely like a breakout on the short side. So I dig this strategy. I mean, I like that. A shorting S&P is incredibly hard to make money. So. Uh, you know, you have to expect it to be hard to find signals for the short side. So anyways, there's the full back test for this strategy, this breakout strategy. There is a couple more tests that I would do. Um, first, I would check if it's made money in the last nine months. Uh, I've left that out of my back test. That would be the next step. Uh, I would also do a multi-market test where I checked if it makes money with other markets. So, you know, is it making money uh, with NQ futures, YM futures, or other sectors as well? If it's only making money on ES, I would be worried that it's probably overfit and would not trade it. Then I'd also do a high order fill resolution tech uh, test. So that's where we add a second or tick series behind it to make sure the fills are accurate. But these types of swing strategies, they're, they're usually okay. Uh, you really only get in trouble with that on the, the trail stop strategies. And then yeah, I'd run it in SIM and make sure it makes money in nine months. So uh, there it is, there's our breakout strategy and I will show you the full source code here. You can pause it here if you want to see it. But basically, you know, 3% profit target, 2% stop loss. Here's all the targets are set. So it'd be right here. And then there's our long signal to enter long. I'll zoom in. Here's our short signal. 
basically checking if the month is September, and then it trades S&P futures, 1440 minute bars. That's our breakout strategy. Let me know in the comments below if you guys want me to maybe work on a mean reverting strategy next. Uh, what type of strategies do you guys want me to work on? We can build some more definitely together. Um, and yeah, I had, had some fun building on this breakout strategy. I'm gonna put this in SIM and start tracking it. And if it makes money in the next quarter, potentially start trading it live. Although I do have a lot of S&P 500 strategies. So for this to get to the top will be, it'll be a tough task. But anyways, hope you found value in this type of video. And let me know in the comments below what strategy you want me to build next. See you guys, bye-bye.